everyone, it's Tyler here. I have got a lot of requests lately about my jungle board. I've heard a lot of good things and I'm really happy that you guys like it. So I figured today I'd show you kind of um, what it looks like and how I did it. So let's uh, just jump on in and I'll show you kind of the basics of how I made this board and how I plan to make future boards too. I'd like to reiterate that I'm very thankful for all the very nice comments I've got about this and everyone yelling at me to make this video. So here it is. My jungle board here is a textured terrain board made for dead zone, so that means it's all gridded out three by three inch squares on a two by two board. And this is what I'm looking at here. So this is the final product. I'm gonna walk you through how I did it from start-ish to finish. I actually got a two by four like sheet of wood, uh, this wood actually, and it was a uh, free or very, very discounted at Home Depot in like the excess lumber kind of section. So this is super cheap to build, and yeah. So this is kind of how it all starts. What you do basically is you get your board, you sand it off to make sure there's not any splinters or anything like that. And then I got some spackling paste. I got the big one because I was gonna do my uh, my trench board the same way. And that one's four by six, so I need a lot. Plus when you buy in bulk, it's a lot cheaper. So. I recommend you get a medium sized one. This one's large. The small one's just basically a waste because you need a lot more than that. But basically what I did is I got the spackling paste. I put it, I smeared it around with a, a paint stirrer stick and you kind of just kind of wipe it around until you get the texture that you like. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice, but I think I think the end result is totally worth it because it's, it's a cool, stable, um, natural looking material, especially when you paint it up, it looks really nice. Speaking of which, uh, in the comment section, please tell me what kind of board you want this one to be. It's not finished and um, I kind of like the way this, this looks. Uh, originally it's because I just ran out of spackling paste around here, but then I determined I actually really like this. So if I can figure out a way to make this look like, look like the city, or uh, maybe even if I'm really ambitious into like a water texture that would be really cool I think so let me know if you have any like cool planet ideas that I might uh, consider and uh, yeah so here's how I did the gridding um, the gridding is actually pretty darn easy but time-consuming so basically what I did here is I got butcher's twine which is great for tying up your rotisserie chickens and stuff so you can get that at your butcher and basically what you do is you cut it into two foot long strings and then you super glue right here on the edge and then you super glue on the other side to make sure it's tight I only have a uh, one hand right now so I can't quite do that but you make sure it's nice and straight and then you would kind of brush on with a really old crappy brush you uh, you basically just brush on white glue uh, PVA or PVC I forgot which one it is but Elmer's glue, you just kind of brush along there to make sure it lays flat and straight, and then you just grid it out. So you just uh, you measure out your three inches each time, and make sure everything looks good, and then you go the other way, and then you have your board. So that's pretty much the basics of how to make it. Now let's kind of go into the little details of the final product. So here we go with the final product. Um, basically, after that I did that, I just uh, spray painted the whole thing black as a primer, and then I went over it with uh, acrylic brown glue to get this kind of dirty feeling underneath after after that I flocked it um, just with one canister not even I mean it's just a fraction of the canister of flock which costs like $14 or so I think at Hobby Lobby um, all prices American obviously um, so yeah basically this is what I did here and then these little uh, bushy kind of things and like these dead looking I don't know how well this camera's picking it up but these kind of dirty looking things uh, it makes it look a lot more real and those are from the dollar store uh, basically in the fake flower section there's always uh, these little like moss packets and basically what you do with that is you just buy them rip them up and then kind of sprinkle them on uh, after you've well, like while you do your flocking. Well, not the whole thing. You do it in sections. So you section off um, bits and pieces with the white glue. And then when you have the white glue, 
that means you can actually have things stick. And so any extra little bits, you can always uh, super glue or hot glue in, but I don't think I did that at all, and it stays just fine. So that gives it a little bit more texture. To go along with my jungle board, I got some fake plants, and then basically just made these cool little bases. So at the bottom, it's that same, same mossy stuff that is in the dollar store. And uh, I just put it on a big metal washer. So those are super cheap. Get those. And then I found some pretty cool uh, fern looking things. And uh, my favorite one, I got at a garage sale and it's an aquatic uh, thing for your fish. And so these look kind of alien to me and I think they look really neat, especially when you kind of mix them in. Um, this one's more the same. Um, I have some other ones too, but the hot glue kind of came off the bottom and uh, so I had to not put those in. But And finally I have this one, which um, believe it or not, this thing is the core of a loofah. Um, I actually got this from my girlfriend. I thought it looked really like porous and alien. And so basically all I did with this is cut out that, that middle like chunky core and stuck it on there and it looks kind of like an alien log or like a broken down old uh, fungus or something like that so i thought that looked really neat and alien and then just decked it out with more jungle stuff and obviously if you like what you see here uh just check out some of the battle reports that tim and i have done there's two that take place in the jungle and both utilize this board and terrain here is a little bit of bonus footage um basically with my new infestation pledge i got a little bit more of the core battle zones and whatever I had left over and I decided to basically recreate that awesome uh, official Mantic building I think it's on the quadrant or something like that but it's a huge industrial building I'm a big fan of trying to make things look like they actually belong in the world and up until this point all of my buildings have been very small which I really enjoy I like small buildings because you can stack them on each other and make them very modular build a lot of different stuff but this time I couldn't help myself and I built a really big building. <laughs> I kept it pretty accessible for dead zone though. There's plenty of openings uh, on the walkways and stuff. You can see through the building um, down here. So there's still a lot of firing lanes and stuff like that. Uh, I wanted to make it look practical so I only have a few guarded walkways and things like that. But yeah this is something I, <laughs> I'm really happy with. I, I've had these these rune sprues. I only had like one rune sprue because I got it from the crazy box and I finally figured out a good way to use it. I've been saving this for a while and I just wanted to show you guys my enormous building here. I can't wait to paint it up and that's that. That just about wraps it up for this video. Uh, today I hope you enjoyed um, how I made my jungle board and how I plan to make future boards. Let me know if you have any cool ideas for things I should do in the comments below. Um, I'm interested to hear what other people think. I'm kind of thinking like a like a charry ash world, but I'm not I'm not totally sold on that idea yet. So if you have any cool ideas, let me know. Of course, if you have any questions about uh, how I made terrain or anything else like that, if you just have any comments at all, just put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and keep rolling eights.